all welcome to marine connection my name is Damien I'm at the water today and we're going to be showing you this beautiful boat it's a 2005 cruisers yachts 280 CXI and it's powered by a pair of Volvo Pentas 4.3 GXI motors now our service department has done a mechanical inspection and everything has checked out on the boat um, as you can hear in the background probably the boat is also equipped with a generator and uh, we have that running right now and pulling down the cabin uh, starting at the back of the boat, we have a large swim platform. It is an extended swim platform off to the uh, port side. We do have a recess boarding ladder underneath this hatch. Two stern cleats, nice little grab handle to get on and off the boat, okay, or hold on to the boat. And then off to the starboard side, directly behind the transom, we have a couple of fender holder, or fender holder right there. Middle of the transom, short power one and two, the hookups. You also have a TV and phone jack. And then we have the uh, dockside fresh water hookup uh, underneath that as well, okay? Boat is equipped with an Isinglass enclosure. You'll see that in the pictures that it's in great condition. Off to the port side over here, we do have this nice access door to get in and out of the cabin, okay? And then we also have, directly behind that, we have our transom hot and cold shower. Cockpit carpet snapping, it is removable. And then we have this nice lounge area in the back of the boat here with a cockpit table if you want to entertain guests and whatnot, you can. Little storage compartment. Nice radar arch with its uh, overhead lights. And then we have two speakers on the outside of the boat. A couple of more cup holders directly uh, behind this seat. Coming up for the uh, captain's chair. You can sit too comfortably, okay? We have a Garmin 182 uh, GPS. We have a digital depth sounder, a VHF radio, and our compass direct centered directly over the helm. This is a tilt wheel, okay? Uh, we have our remote for our spotlight all the way forward up at the bow. And then we also have a remote for our Clarion stereo, okay, which is located down below. Boat's also equipped with the windlass, and the engine hours on this particular boat are, well, it's rounded up to 169 hours, okay? Uh, display of gauges and our rocker switches for our 12 volt system top side, which would be your horn, uh, wipers, uh, the windlass up and down, trim tabs, and then you also have the manual aft and forward bilges, okay? And then our blower uh, rocker switch is right next to your key. So uh, pretty much that concludes the top side of the boat as far as the helm goes. We also have this axis going all the way, all the way, uh, if you wanted to get up to the bow, you have this axis through this walk through windshield, okay? So easy access up to the bow, and you also have your foot controls for the windlass all the way forward. Let's take you down to the cabin. Once down below in the cabin, you see that it's very spacious, okay? Um, our cameraman's gonna like this today because I got the generator and AC running, so it's not 99 degrees down here, but it's more like uh, 70 right now. Um, we do have a midsection lounge seat, okay? And then this does remove, and we do have this underneath table. This will become a dinette, okay? To the right, as you're coming down the steps, we have an aft cabin sleeper. No, uh, notice that you have a easy access into the sleeper and we have this privacy curtain as well, okay? A uh, little further up, we have our control panel for our 120 volt system and our 12 volt system, okay? I can run the generator. Generator can be started down from the engine room or could be started from up here. Um, but you got our switches right here for our generator and then we have our short, short power one, short power two, and when we're running the generator, we just use the transfer switch to run all our 110 accessories. Um, 12 volt system, fresh water system, uh, your head system, cabin lights, everything is operational on the boat. We've gone over all the systems on the boat, everything's operational. You also have your breaker for your windlass, which is a Maxwell windlass uh, down here as well. Coming up a little bit forward, off to the left as you come down the stairs, we have our enclosed marine head, okay? It does have a stand-up shower. You have a couple vents down here as well. Um, Porthole window, but notice that uh, plenty of room inside the uh, stand-up uh, head. At mid-cabin, we have our galley. Freshwater sink, uh, freshwater and sink with a sprayer and whatnot. Little bits of storage on either side. Our AC vent, microwave, range, and then we have our refrigerator 
which is either 12 volt or 110. And then off to the right of that, we have some additional cabinet space. TV, more closet space, storage space. And then, excuse the uh, Isinglass, but as you can see, we have all the Isinglass here now. We also have this large forward sleeper, okay? And then we have this privacy curtain as well, okay? Plenty of lights throughout, portholes, uh, headlights on top of the liner. Notice that the liner and vinyl is in very good condition. The upholstery, everything down below is in excellent condition, including the carpet and whatnot. And then pretty much the last thing I would like to show you is off. Uh, as soon as you're coming down the stairs, you do have your AC control, and here's our Clarion stereo, and then you have a light switch and whatnot. So, uh, as you can see in the pictures and in the video, boat's in very good condition. Let's fire it up, take it out for a quick spin. Good to go. That concludes the uh, video on the uh, Cruisers Yachts 28. Hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, the boat runs very well. Uh, motors, uh, all the gauges and everything are displaying properly. And uh, plenty of horsepower for the boat. Nice uh, cruise of about 28 miles an hour. And uh, top end was at about 42 to 43. Um, Upholstery, folks, is in great condition. Gel coat is in great condition as well. Might have a couple little scratches here and there on the outside of the uh, hull, but that's to be expected. As you saw down below, the cabin is immaculate. It's in very, very good condition. Generator, AC, etc. all the systems are operational on the boat. So from West Palm Beach, Florida, my name is Damien. Write me an email or call me if you have any questions. God bless. Have a wonderful day.